What up, family? Straight drop. Man, uh, I guess he living up to his name for real. Uh, and I, 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 I guess that, you know, and, and it ain't no guess. I know for sure uh, what he said on this post that I'm about to get into. You know, he would look at it later on and like, man, what was I thinking? I have seen what happened with dudes in prison once it's settled in. We all know that fam just got a life sentence. <laughs> Not a light sentence, but a life sentence, right? We all know that it was him thinking that I'm going to get a deal with CMG, take this 50K, and I'm, I'm gone. I'm going to sell off and win. Everything was about an image, a record deal, greed, and money, right? Before we get into detail, straight drop situation is a reflection on Memphis and the streets of Memphis. One might say, why is it it's, it's a reflection? That's something that he did. The spirit in the streets of Memphis is the same spirit that other individuals have that what straight drop did. They would have did it too. If they was able to get the drop on them. Big Juke knew that. Individuals were going to take this up. They would have did it for 10K a piece. Like straight up. Now after the sentencing and this man getting a life sentence, right? Even after the court showings and the different things, you know, of, 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 of lonely nights in jail, thinking about you, you cold-blooded gunning a man down that got children, a family, and never did nothing to you at all. Now I'm about to quote what straight, uh, straight drop took to his IG to say after he got the life sentence. My man said that these niggas taking criminal responsibilities, I'm taking street responsibilities. Regardless, I'm forever the biggest. They can throw away the keys before I eat the cheese. Now, <laughs> straight drop said, he forever the biggest, right? What else he say? I'm taking criminal responsibilities. Now, the magnitude of ignorance of him still thinking he the, big, the biggest after receiving a life sentence just go to show you the clout trace, chasing drug is worth more than money to the streets of Memphis. They rather get your body. Now, this may seem gangster to a lot of y'all, may seem gangster to him at the time, but trust me, he's a human being, and when it settles in, he get a little older, five years from now in prison, I guarantee you, he'll be sending another message out about what he did. Because see, as time go on, it heals all wounds, bad and good. I've never seen too many men go to prison on murder charges and have this amount of time and they don't confirm to what they did and acknowledge what they did to hurt a, a, another, take another individual life. Because they come into understanding throughout appeals and different things like that, that they need God in order to let these gates move to them for them to have a date to even come. A lot of times reality don't set in until the pain set in. Everybody uh, um, searching for, like I was just talking about the other night, the honeymoon stages, the, the, the happy stages, and this is what was going on with my man, straight drop. And he wanted to get that feeling by any means necessary. We seen the footage come out with Dolph. These dudes said that we, they got lucky in seeing this man in traffic. They like, oh, there he is there. Already in contact. They, they, got, they see him and they followed him to the cookie shop. 
They didn't have a big drop on uh, Dolph. Dolph put the drop on himself. One may say, what you mean by that? A lot of murders I have seen, a lot that I am seeing now, is people doing things like, why would you do that? It's like, could, nothing could have stopped him from doing that that day. Not even his brother that was uh, with him. It was just his time. Sometimes God take his hand off of individuals found for us to learn from that individual. And it usually be an individual that have a heart that people really love. Just like Dolph. I'm not saying that Dolph was uh, not participating, <laughs> you know, in the gangster rhythm. But I've never seen him, you know, put money on nobody's head or try to get nobody shot or killed. After the hundred shots went on with Dolph, he should have sat down, but he did it like Pac did. And that's why Pac went to his grave, but it was a calling for it. That's why Dolph went to his grave. This, this is the same situation like the Pac and Biggie situation just in today's time with young Dolph. He was talking to the youth just like Pop was talking to us back in our days. Scrape dropped to make this post and saying that he's still the biggest. You feel me? He didn't bite the cheese. Don't nobody care. Family, if you're the biggest or you didn't bite the cheese or you this, you still continuing to have an image after all this. Like you was just a terrorist in Memphis, fam. This ain't your only situation. You need to sit down. I guarantee you, it's most situations this guy have been in. He heartless, fam. Cold. He's so cold, after the situation went down, he went and involved his brother in the situation. Put his brother on some charges. That, that lets you know individuals don't like brotherly influence or older brother, whatever the case might be, can be the younger brother, but he act older and get more money, whatever the case might be. To influence your brother to get involved in what you had going on, now he's going to have to do some time. He done pleaded guilty. He just waiting on sentencing. All behind the decision that you make. We tend to take others down with us as we go, but we can't see, fam, the, the effects that that is causing on your brother kids, his old lady, your mother. You feel me? It's like a double jeopardy type uh, situation, man. But I will keep y'all updated on situations, though, fam. But make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.